Hi all, in this video I'm going to make cottage pie. It's called cottage pie because I'm using ground beef instead of lamb. Hi semua, sekali itu aku udah kena cottage pie. Cottage pie yang kena beef dan daging lembu kesa, bukan yang kena daging uh, kambing kesa. Untuk yang kena kambing kesa, ini namanya shepherd pie. To make a cottage pie, I'm using ground beef, potato, we will going to boil it and mash it, frozen bean, carrots, one whole onions, garlic, crushed tomato or you can use ketchup, olive oil, rosemary, paprika, salt, pepper, cinnamon and thyme. And, and of course, um, vegetable stock or you can use water. Dalam resep itu aku guna bagian uh, lembu kesa, ubi kentang, ubi kentang tu lagi uh, dekat di rebus, ngau digagak ke mashed potato, uh, frozen bean, kacang udah kacang keku, kacang carrot, bawang besar, bawang putih, sos tomato ataupun kecap minyak zaitun, olive oil, rosemary, paprika, garam, lada hitam, kayu manis, ngau thyme. Ngau anana ingat stok sayur. Ngena ai pun ulia. First, heat up our cooking pot. Panaskan periuk. Add in olive oil to the pot. Masukkan minyak zaitun ke dalam periuk. Add in our onions and carrot to the pot. Masukkan ketempu bawang. Ngau carrot ke dalam periuk dulu. We going to add the garlic later. Bawang putih dia masukkan uh, kemudian. Lapan bawang putih campur angin. Add a pinch of salt. Masukkan sejepul garam, sebagai bawang atau carrot. Then mix. Cook until the onion is translucent. Masak sampai bawangnya agak layu. Then we can add in our garlic. Then we masukkan ke tempu bawang putih dan garam. And after 30 seconds later, we can add in our ground beef. Setelah 30 saat berikutnya, kita masukkan ke tempu daging lembu. Stir, mix properly. Constantly stir the meat. Girau salu, daging tu, pakai masal skata. So the meat is a bit. So the meat is ready now. You can see it. If you can see it sticking to the pot. Daging tu ada sudah ready. So, ia agak nanti boleh pedak, kita boleh pedak, ia agak pekat buat periwak. Kita boleh nampakkan ia akan terus, bahan seterusnya. So, this is optional. I forgot to mention the all-purpose flour. Untuk uh, suka hati, saya kena pun nak ulit dengan acau. Kena pun dengan acau. Uh, tepung serap berguna, aku kena satu duduk makan saja. I'm using a... One tablespoon of all-purpose flour. And then we're going to cook it for 3 to 4 minutes. Masa tu, 3 to 4 minutes. Buat ketepung amat-amat. Amat-amat. Mangsau. Okay, next I'm going to add my herbs. Thyme, paprika, black pepper, salt thyme and cinnamon 
Masukkan semua bahan herba tadi termasuk semua garam Mana tidak rosemary, thyme, uh, lada hitam, kayu manis, paprika dan tiram Then mix well Next, add in our ketchup or tomato sauce Masukkan ibu kecap atau tomato sauce nanti kita mix well. Now, next ingredient, bahan seterusnya, vegetable stock, stock sayur. We're going to scrap the bottom of the pot. Then ya, masak tempat dulu. Kiki sa bahan bah bahan sira daging kemekat bahan masakan kemekat beberu. Tak banyak isi flavour. Let's test the meat in case we need more salt or pepper. Sepe dulu daging, enggak perlu tambahkan garam. Segala ada hitam. I need a little bit. Perlu kami minyak lagi. Now last ingredient, masuk bahan terang sekali, masukkan kita pu kacang. Add in the frozen bean. Mix it together for about. One minute like that, cook for one minute like that. So, can you? Gak boleh bersama ngobahan kebukai. Masak dalam satu minit sebagainya. Before we transfer to our baking dish. Sebab tau kita masuk lagi ya, ngagai-ngagai acuan terkena kebakar. Ngagai pai. So, the meat is ready. We going to turn off the heat. Daging tu dah mansal. Kita madam ke tempu api. Then we going to transfer it to our baking dish to make a pie. Tanya kita transfer ya agar kita tempu acuan. So next, what I'm going to do is to peel off the potato skin, then pour the water, add in a lot of salt. Once the water is warm, I'm going to add in my potato and cook the potato until it's soft enough to be mashed. So that to aku reka ngupas kulit kentang. Udahnya pandu air sampai mendidih masukkan um, garam agak mayuh lah garam kena masak kentang sampai ya agak lembut 
kuliah di kuliah di Lenge. So my potato is cooked. When I punch through, when I punch it, it goes through the potato, meaning it's cooked. So ubi kentang tu dah cukup mansal. Dan cucu ia terbuat banyak. So we are ready. We're going to drain our potato. Tadi kena ngetos kita buat ubi kentang. And using the same pot, mash our potato. Dalam perih yang sama. Kenyakan kita buat ubi kentang. You can do it in a bowl, spread bowl. Boleh lenyek dia dalam mangkuk bukai. Then going to add in butter. Paprika, salt and black pepper Masukkan garam, paprika, lada hitam And I'm going to add in my mixture of egg yolk and milk Masukkan campuran telur kunir atau Or if you want it much simpler, just add it with, mash it with butter and milk, and add in some salt and pepper. That's it. Ataupun jika cara ringkas lagi, masukkan garam, lada hitam, kemiwit susu, ngau butter, nyak pun dah nyadi. And this is optional. You can add in cheese. I'm using cheddar cheese. So so kati, tengai kena apa nang aja? Aja dan cheese and mix. transfer our potato now next step spread evenly the mashed potato itu udahnya rata ke ketempu mashed potato now our cottage pie is ready to Put in the oven. So cottage pie kita tu already kalau simpan dalam oven. So I'm going to pack my cottage pie in the oven for about 25 minutes to 30 minutes, or un or until it's golden brown. So aku dah kawak aku kumpul cottage pie tu dalam oven selama 25 minit atau ke 30 minit. Takkan sampai ia bertukar jadi keperangan. So after 30 minutes in the oven, my cottage pie is ready. You can see the color. It's beautiful, and if you can smell it, it's very, it smells very good in our in our home now. So cottage pie udah mansau. Udah muda color ya begitu. Nanti kita boleh hidu bawa Oh bawa sangat sangat best lah. Sama pak bawa dalam dalam rumah itu. I'm going to let it cool for a bit before we're going to eat it so it's time for our dinner so aku akan nanti tu celak mimit maybe dalam 10 minit berkenyak kita boleh 15 minit tapi dia tu dah time untuk makan malam let's see our cottage pie so bedak boleh dia tu kita yang bedak tempo cottage pie berkenyi ke kamar yang dalam ni This is 
our cottage pie. Hope you can try it at home and make it for your loved one. Ara kita sama oleh naga. A cottage pie to enjoy.